Hmm. Hello, Headland. Is Headland your name, or is that a reference to uh, Injection? today of a Jack Kirby inspired Batman. This commission I was asked for, for uh, like nearly a year ago I'd say and uh, I haven't a clue what I'm doing to be honest. I'm not really a Kirby guy if I'm being honest. Headland, I wanted to change my name here, it was really injection time, ended up with right Headland. Fair enough! Well, thanks for reading injection. I hate this. Sorry for the um, blowing nose sounds. I kicked up a bit of dust when I was uh, setting my desk up. Ah, oh, lads, what am I going to do? Been putting this off for months and months and months and months. I'm, lo I'm currently looking at some like Fourth World reference just uh, as an inspiration. But uh, I'm coming up pretty, pretty, pretty blank. I'm not sure how interesting, how entertaining this will be to read. You know what, maybe I'm looking up the wrong thing. Let's 
just be incredibly boring to look at. Sorry, I'm just trying to figure this out. Once I know what I'm doing, I'll be blasting through it. I guess the thing is, you just draw a Batman shot first and then make it. Oh, uh, that would be helpful. I don't know if I want to see what everybody else has done, but okay, that's quite good. Mm, eh, that's not great. Huh, that's weird. That's interesting. That's interesting. Yeah, that's cool. Ah, uh, of course, my finish is going to be the gold one. Hmm. I think I know what I'm doing. I think I think I know what I'm doing. I have an idea, so. But thank you. That's that. That is a huge help. But I, I think I just managed to figure out what I'm doing beforehand. I am sorry about the snort noises. Uh, noises. That's fine. I'm, I just I was moving this desk, and a big bolt of dust shot up in my face. Do, do, do. Jack Kirby never was really getting your stuff. I know it's sacrilege to say that, but
Hey, Declan, is it probably Batman from any comic, or is it just a thing that hurts like to draw for obvious reasons? Uh, hey, Harry, um, no, this is a commission for a guy called Bobby Angus. He, um, I think he he is the guy who gets everyone to do those commissions you've seen, probably. But this was a commission for Boston Comic Con uh, last year that uh, I didn't get to, I didn't get to do at the show, so. Well, once this is done, my list is finally free, and I've gotten to everybody that is owed one. So I, I'm really I'm making this up as I go along. This is kind of like a Batman pose with I'm trying to figure out how to curbify it, if you know what I mean. Which is a little difficult for me because I've never, yeah, I've, uh, I've never been a massive Kirby guy, personally. Do 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 do. Hey, Minsk. How you doing? <laughs> Watching a drawing stream, are you? What are the odds? I'm good. Thanks for asking. Struggling through this piece, though. I have half of a drawing here somewhere. Speaking of Batman who, my favourite member of the Bat family, also your design, I'm assuming was fun and cool, he was a good addition to the Bat family. Thank you. Thanks, man. Um, but the change was costume after I left. Um, I am a, I mean, Batman is my guy, really, but um, I do have quite the soft spot for my wing. Um, and Tim Drake, too. Tim Drake Robin. Pretty old school.
Uh, Signal was really all Scott's thing, though. I mean, I just designed the costume, really. I did this is working.
Mm-hmm. Uh, is it beer or tea? It is uh, water, actually, uh, Minsk. Do I like the Azrael that man? Yeah, I remember reading uh, Nightfall back in the day. I loved it. I haven't read that stuff in a long, long time. I wonder how it, uh, how it holds up. That's where I looked badass. See what else. I was trying to look at some um, very. Um, I have a window open to various like Kirby drawings and stuff, so I'm just trying to figure out. Ooh. Ooh, excuse me, what makes sense, really? Like, um, this isn't going to be exactly what Kirby would do, but I'm. Um, just trying to figure out what makes sense for his tape and stuff. Sorry, this is boring to look at. I'm very aware. Let's figure out what we'll do with the cape. Would it just be something? I'm going to make this black. This out. Make black. Mm -hmm. 
Let's show to do with the cave. <clears throat> Here we go. What movies am I looking to forward to this year? Ooh. Sorry, you're asking me thinky questions while I'm trying to think on this thing. Um, good question. <sighs> I'd like to see um, The Boy Who Would Be King, which is out now. Uh, I don't really got a chance, but um, I really like uh, that director, um, Joe Cornish. I was a big fan of the podcast used to be on, and um, I really like to tack the block. Um, so I'd like to see that if I get a chance. I don't think else is coming out. I think there was a Clint Eastwood movie coming out, but I think it's probably out and gone now. Called the Mule. Actually, it might still be out. Um, I think I would like to see that for sure, because um, I like me some Eastwood. Um, I can't think what else is coming out. I've the new Avengers one for sure. Defo. Can't think of anything else. I, I'm not. I I haven't been paying as much attention. I've been trying to pay more attention to the films that are like out now, so I can actually go see some. Or films that I missed last year, because I missed a hell of a lot. Does this Batman have some Romita Jr. in him or freezing the style? Um, I'm going blockier with this one, alright, than what I would normally do. Um, but again, I'm, I'm trying to do more Kirby than Romita. I have been. I, it has been pointed out to me that I, I have a little Romita in me anyway. So that might be it. Avengers Endgame is going to be three hours long. Oh my god. Well, those films, I'm fine with those films being long. They're they're events. They're events movies. I get it. You know, they're um they're doing a very specific thing and um I'm I'm okay with it. In general, I don't like films being that long, but um, what they've been building up to with like the, all those movies, though, I get it. And uh, quite like it, you know, it all just seems super cool. <laughs> and there was a three hour screening fans didn't complain yeah I bet I mean look I'm all for one for editing something down but I mean they've been building and building and building and building and building to this I get it Something. 
Gotta know what I'm doing. Finally. Yeah, I am. Um, I mean, my favorite of all those films are um, are is uh, Witch Soldier and those the Russos and like I've been really enjoying with the like. I've came into a lot of those films going, I'm not sure about this, but then they pull it off, so at this stage, I just learned to trust them. I used to pay a lot more attention to like uh, directors and stuff and uh, I just lose track because I was so busy so but I'm sure there's lots of films coming out this year I want to see. I, I generally don't know about them until like a few months out of time though, a couple of months. Do, 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 do. Have I seen Mandy yet? No, I don't think I will. Um, it looks a bit too um, art house for me, to be honest. Um, I've heard a couple of people whose opinion I respect. I mean, uh, some of them like it, but um, others not. I think the ones who haven't are more that tend to be in my... Um, on a, we tend to be on the same page, so I think I'll give it a miss. 
I saw a film called An Evening with Beverly Love Lynn on Netflix the other day. And it was the biggest piece of shit I've ever seen in my fucking life. I hate it. Hate it with a passion. Pretentious as I am, there's only so much I can handle. On a completely different note, I recently discovered the Hardy box <laughs> via Netflix. Funniest thing I've seen in ages. Where, <laughs> where are you from, Harry, again? Sorry if I keep asking you that. Uh, yeah, Hardy book is pretty good. As well, grand stuff. Grand stuff now. Go down to town. I'm from uh, Clare, which is and would be a million miles from... Uh, from the buys in Mayo. Wouldn't be a hardy book myself now, but I'd know a few of my time. Glad you're enjoying it though, I I, I wonder how it translates outside of uh, Ireland. Oh you're in the UK. Yeah, it was. It, I think it was. Um, a, it was actually on YouTube originally, um, and I found a following. So it's on. It's on. It's on television in Ireland, but uh, I, uh, yeah, I didn't know how it was uh, translating. But I'm glad. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad. Uh, glad you're enjoying it. I th I think it's class. They did a film of it uh, a while ago. I have to say, I wasn't into the film that much. I think um, you could only really last a certain amount of time with uh, those characters. You know, in shorter installments, it's funny, but I, I think in the film, I kind of got a bit tired. But uh, whenever I'm watching it, uh, my accent, I'll, I'll get a bit... Put some SHs in there, you know? Push stay aside.
Pull down the town. Skyboy. Etc. You're the only person who's going to be getting any of these. What do you think, Kirby Batman? I don't need to tilt this up a bit. So let's make sure this is okay. There we go. Um, it's sort of Trailer Park Boys. I've never actually seen Trailer Park Boys, but I hear it's really, really good. Influence, Kirby influence, I went with a lot of these kind of like, I don't know how you describe like bands he seems to do through a lot of costumes. And he does a lot of kind of um, striping, but I, I touted mine a bit to kind of work along the side of him. I tried going block with a big blockier helmet as well. Hey Hespers, how's it going? Uh, I'm glad you think it's looking great because uh, this is a very different commission for me so I'm just trying to make sure it doesn't suck. Is anyone here going to see 2e2 by the gents? Oh, hey, Max. <laughs> Different Kirby, Max. Different Kirby. Oh, you're going to, you might go to see 2 too, huh, Max? Um, yeah, Hespers, I will be going to New York on my time. I go, I go there every year. Are you going? Sorry, I'm going a bit too high with this again.
They're trying to go to New York. They're trying. Oh, it'll be your first con. Oh, wow. Where, where are you from, uh, Hesperus? And I apologize, I've asked before, I seem to have a habit of asking people where they're from and then forgetting straight away. Keep dragging your feet about booking the trip. But <clears throat> I was uh, going to do something else. Um, Actually, this month, I was planning on doing something later this month, but then it kind of fell through. So then I looked, uh, I talked to the guys at C2E2 and saw what they could do for me. So they made it easy to say yes. So uh, yeah, booked my flight, which was nice. So yeah, I'm just mainly going over there to see friends and have a bit of a laugh. I'm gonna. You know, I'm just asking people if because if they did want a commission, I was gonna be. I'm taking some tomorrow. Uh, and since you're here watching me draw them, I thought I should at least let you know. From Bahrain. Wow. Cool. That is a long way to travel for, for a convention. Sorry, one second. Uh, Mike? Yeah. Could you do it for a second? Can you hear my static? Or is it just me? Can your microphone hear me? Maybe. Maybe I'm just maybe I'm just an actual computer. You know what? Actually, that's probably what it is. Actually, it is. It is a computer. Sorry. Okay. Excuse me. You know, my bad. <laughs> Sorry to disturb you. Um, Max, uh, do, 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 do. Um, what size your commission? You want to get a good frame for it? It is, I can tell you exactly because it's the same paper I'm using right now. Um, it is 11.7 by 8.3 inches. So I have. It's A4, it's like a standard paper we have over here. In the States, you kind of use a slightly different size. So yeah, so it's 11.7 uh, by 8.3 inches. If that helps. I hope it does. Yeah, Max's commission was um, uh, last week's Civic, and I owed him that. Uh, actually, from C2E2 last year, I think. Max, was it? There's one other person I owe the commission to, but um, they uh, got really mean and called me names online, so fuck them. I gave them the money back. It was like, in fairness to them, I owed them a long, long, long time. It was a volunteer at a convention, and I'd see him every year, and I'd always go, oh, I owe you this convention. I'm so sorry. But I was genuinely really, really, really busy. Um, but... Um, I'd actually charged him like sixty pounds, so like he was, getting, and I still owed him over the years. So and I wasn't going to charge him extra just because my prices had gone up over the years. So he would have gotten a very good, very very cheap um, commission, like 
now, because I'm catching up on them all. Uh, had he not been a prick? You like the summer in the US, you're trying to schedule a trip during New York Comic Con this year. Oh, that's great. New York Comic Con is in the beginning of October. Or beginning of October, I think, so that is a good timing for you. Max, you skipped C2E2 last year, but I think I owed it to you from the year before, did I? No, Heroes Con. Okay, but I saw you at C2E2. Maybe that's why I'm. Maybe that's why I'm. Who did I? Because I wasn't there last year, I was there the year before, and I think... Yeah, you were there. I'm pretty sure. Hey Adam, how's it going? Yeah, sorry, two years ago, Max, anyway, I figured. And then Heroes last year. I kind of, if I'm doing well, I get to go to two, two shows in the States a year. This year I'm actually getting to do three. Because one's willing to pay me over, that's in Florida. That helps a lot with the uh, travel costs for me. So, yeah, there'll be a uh, C2E2 in Florida during the summer, and then um, New York coming on. I'm glad you're enjoying your morning, Adam. Do I get Disney free free world tickets for working at Marvel? I do not. No, that's um, the only people who get that would be like um, people who work at the company, like editors and stuff, freelancers. Um, don't. So I've been to Disney World, but uh, I had to pay my way. Yeah, we're freelancers, so it's not the same as being an employee, you know. The school the editors have it though, they don't get a lot of perks, so uh, Adam had a peaceful permission session as Buffy and Agony. She knows she's fine. She's just hanging out in her box. She's been cool. She's been a little girl. But uh, yeah, it's 
good. Yeah, so it is a fine uh, commission session. I was having a bit of difficulty earlier because um, I was saying to everybody else, uh, Jack Kirby is not my. So I've been a massive Kirby head, so it's kind of a struggle for me, but I think this is okay. I made it very metallic for some reason, but. What are you gonna do? Jason Aaron gets injured to being exclusive on social media. Um, he might, I might, you might be exclusive. I don't know. I've never been exclusive, so I uh, couldn't say. But uh, you know, he's one of their bigger guys. They might, uh, they might look at, they might look out for him. Oh cool, it's Reminds of New Gods. That's kind of what I was going for, to be honest. Like, that's that to me is the most Kirby thing. Yeah, even though I'm not into it, I do respect it. October is a perfect time to visit because I love Halloween decorations as well as the Halloween party at Disney World. Halloween, the, the Yanks sure do like their Halloween, for sure. They could definitely go all out, so that, that is pretty cool. So I'm trying to do a kind of a Kirby-esque, like I don't want to replicate the Kirby effect, you know, that dot thing he did. I want to try and kind of um, nod to it a little here. To do to if I want Kirby and Galactus. <laughs> uh, you know what? He's so big, you just can't see him from this angle. Uh, seeing Nate Stockman's campaign to get tickets to the premiere of Spider Man Homecoming was pretty entertaining. Did he get them in the end? I can't remember. And he did sit me down here in my house and make me watch it for what it's worth. I got to go see the premiere of Deadpool, the first Deadpool film. Um, 20th Century Fox or whatever uh, offered me tickets, which that was cool because we, you know, worked on Deadpool and stuff. Didn't get them for the second one. I had to go get my own tickets. But I did get recognized at the cinema, which was kind of cool. Because I went with my mum, so she, her seeing me recognized was kind of cool. I don't do, think I'll do a watercolour on this though, because uh, 
I have a less idea of what I'm doing than normal, so I don't have the confidence to mess around. Uh, Hespers, sorry, when asking a question, the question, what do I prefer? We ask, like, just a, I would like a certain character. Hespers, when I take um, commissions, it's generally like a very specific list. It's one character, uh, and the price will cover like black and white uh, with ink washes. But it'll be just name one character, um, and it's for a full figure shot, you know, like this. And that's really you got over a character. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't tell you what's I'd just do whatever you like, really. Uh, I don't think I've ever like refused one. Like this would be the closest I would be to refusing one because I part of the reason why it's taken me so long to do this one is because I didn't really want to do it. But, you know, this is what the person wanted, so I'll I'll, I'll do it. Just because I wasn't interested, it just kinda made me less eager to actually get it done. I wasn't going to leave the person hanging. Do, 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 do. And uh, props for not going the lazy route and just copying Jason Fellox Batman as Metron thing they did in the Justice League. I haven't seen that, so I, I, I shan't comment. Yeah, I cannot comment on such things because I have not seen them. Bum, 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 bum. Do I do commissions of team groups? Asks Harry. No, I don't. Um, Harry, the best I can. I'm just not interested, you know. Um, I've done a couple of like two figure ones in the past, but it's it's not twice the work. It's three times the work, and um, you know, I'm just I'm not somebody who wants to be doing commissions all the time. So, um, you know, I'll sign on to do my one character, and then. Be done, to be honest. Uh, who's my favorite Kirby creation? That's a good question. I um, love the X Men. I love. Uh, he didn't do their level. He. Do you know, even though he created the X Men, I might go with um, Hulk. I really like like how he drew the Hulk. Um, I've never been a massive Fantastic Four fan. I, I like respect them and everything, but um, I've never been super, super into them. But uh, I've always liked his Hulk. Say. And uh, it's pretty. It's really pretty the way I textured the metal. On the ribs and helm, especially, it's amazing and reflective. Thanks, um, thanks, Minsk. I'm going to go with a black now. I, I know what parts are going to be black, but um, I do like doing um, metal stuff with washes. It's like the reflectiveness of it all. I'm going to go in and I'm going to bump some of these up now. But, uh, to be a solid black. Evening, Declan says Erica Cotton. Hi, Erica. How you doing? And 
and indeed it is evening my time I don't know where you are but uh, I hope you are having a good evening also Tathanor, man, it's cool. I like that you've gone for the Capullo style pointed nose. Kind of reminds me of Duke. Step with that heft to it. What made you go for the canary yellow with that design? And um, well, I'm going more Kirby, and this is a Kirby-ish piece. Uh, so I went blockier helmet, basically. Um, it's like this guy. For the canary yellow, that was really Scott's thing, uh, to be honest. Um, Scott wanted the costume to be yellow because he wanted it to be about a daytime Batman. So, um, yeah, I went with that. Which wouldn't have been my first choice because yellow's a, yellow's a toughie. Um, but it worked okay. It worked out all right. Of these reflections. Very, <laughs> probably for me, it was back. Oh, no, Black Panther is pretty good, yeah. Good choice. Adam, has Jeff Lemire hit you up to do any covers or pin ups for Black Hammer? Love to see you work in that world in any capacity. Um, actually, I have done one. Um, it's not Black Hammer uh, specifically, but it's um, Dr. Star. I did a variant for that um, last year. I may not have mentioned it when it came out because I did it so far ahead of time. I kind of, I lost some, it depends on some covers you'll do and they're out really quick. Other ones take forever. And then by the time they come out, I, I've forgotten, uh, you know, when they're out. But then um, if you if Google uh, Dr. Star, Declan Jalvey, uh, you'll see one there. That, that was a lot of fun. I liked doing that because essentially it was a Starman cover. But uh, yeah, other than that, no. But that one, yes. And I hope you like it because I that, that was a I really liked working on that one. It was fun. Sometimes you never know what covers are going to be fun and what aren't. Do. Mary, is he one of the characters that can work in any setting? Black Panther? Is that what you mean? Sorry, if you don't mind clarifying, I'm not sure what you mean. Running out of black ink. Max, Tekken is a true. You're the Jane Fonda of. <laughs> <coughs> what the hell do you mean by that? I want to say no. Because I, I have no idea what you're talking about, Max. But um, uh, why don't why don't you elaborate a bit, and uh, I can I can answer you properly. I don't know what the date one of comics is. Is it super hot? If it's super hot, then yes. 
I am the James Bond of comics. Uh, hi, I'm from yada yada yada. Of course, your channel is bad positions due to the small number of viewers. You're being able to help you. Oh, okay, some spam. Great, thanks. Thanks, spam. That's the first time that's happened. So many. Ooh, who's this? I can just ban this ban, can I? I'll have to look into that later, I'm not really sure how to do it. Thankfully, you don't get much. Tackle them, or would I like to do more Daredevil covers this year? Maybe for Zarsky's book, I love my man with a clear empty suit cover. Thank you very much, uh, Tathanor. I would love to do more uh, Daredevil covers. But, this is what I'm thinking, right? And you can tell me, you can tell me I'm wrong. Um, because I'm trying to like put my, yeah, I'm just going to say it for sure, and you let me know if I'm wrong or not. I, you, I'm sure you know it's like my bucket list to do Daredevil at some stage. And I'm slightly, I'm kind of thinking it would be bad for me to do too many Daredevil covers. Because if I want to do Daredevil someday, and then I end up to get, if I, let's say I get to, let's say I get to do, I get to write and draw it someday, which is my dream. And then I'm doing covers for it too, because naturally I'd want to. If I'm do, if I do loads of covers, um, for a book, and then I'm on the book, have all the covers kind of um, eaten up all the um, any kind of anticipation, if you know what I mean. Like, if you've seen me draw Daredevil all the time on covers, and then I'm doing the book and I'm doing more covers, have I kind of killed... I'm, I'm concerned that... And again, it's I, there's no guarantee I'm ever going to get to do it. But part of me kind of doesn't want to do Daredevil covers because I'm hoping to do them, like, really, really do them. Be the, the guy sometime in the future. So yeah, my 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 concern is that if I if I did a lot of dare not that not that they're throwing daredevil covers at me either for that matter, but um, if I did, then yeah, would would that hurt the dream book of the future? Does that make sense? Tell me if I'm being stupid. By all means, it's just a thought I had. Because I nearly turned down that Man of Fear cover for that reason. But I thought, ah, it's just a variant cover. It's not like I'm doing regular covers or anything. You don't want to burn yourself out and still make it special for an audience. Yeah, that's kind of it. I mean, I wouldn't burn myself out. But um, if I do a really good job of covers for somebody else's book and then I'm doing it will. Will I kill that enthusiasm? Is my concern. And you know, this is all very um, pie in the sky thinking. Could put on Batman had that effect, and he was like even more impactful because he'd never seen him walk in that world before. Yeah, see, that's what I'm. That's what I'm thinking. I'm hoping I get to do it someday, and I worry that if I just if I went all in. Now, the argument is, if if I do a good job and people really like them, then they'll be excited about seeing it. So maybe there's that. But it's hard to know. Makes sense. Um, makes sense also doing too many covers now might end up causing confusion with people less first since your style will be the same across the covers. That's true. Yeah, so, 
see what I mean. I mean, I could be I could be totally wrong. But you know, I wasn't offered to do the main covers on there. I mean, and also I mean, look, variants are fine. I, I I'm happy. I enjoy doing variants here and there. So it's not like I'll never ever do Daredevil cover again. They're kind of nice treats, but um. And yeah, I wasn't offered uh, the covers on the new one. And frankly, that's probably better off because those those to Jake to Dino to Desco covers are fucking gorgeous. I was like, oh god, they're so good. Max, I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> I appreciate the thumbs up. I don't know why you're giving me the thumbs up. Is because I'm hot and that's why I'm the Jane Fonda of comics. I'm going to assume that's what it is. You agree that I'm, su I'm super hot. And I will modestly accept your uh, praise. Tathanor, if Chip came to you and offered you a backup in his Daredevil in a hypo universe would I take the opportunity because it's a huge turn down would you pass and hold out for the headline role I would pass um, I think I'll pass because uh, I want to do my own Daredevil which I know sounds really really full of myself but um, I, I've read I've actually I have read uh, Chip's first issue and it was great I really liked it um, but I don't want to do his I want to do Mine. I want to. I there's lots of books I'd like to draw, but I wa I don't want to draw that Daredevil. I want to write and draw Daredevil. That makes sense. And um, I mean, I've gotten to work with Chip uh, on on uh, two and one, which is great fun. So it's it's nothing against Chip at all. I think Chip's a great writer, and I'm really liking what he's doing on Daredevil. But uh, I just. I, there's only so many things I can draw in a in a day, in a month, in a year, and uh, I've kind of just made the decision outside of what I'm working on right now and finishing Injection. I think I just want to write and draw my own stuff, maybe. Um, not necessarily like including superheroes. Um, but yeah, I'd like to do like creator own stuff and um, uh, superhero stuff and what have you. So there's not there's a, a very small list of writers that I would like to work with. You know, I've gotten to work with Chip. I've gotten to work with a lot of great guys. So. There's very few left that I'm like, I really want to work with them. There's some for sure. But I've kind of got to work with a lot of amazing guys, so... Oh, a backup written and drawn by me. Um, <clears throat> sorry, sorry if I didn't see that when I started answering. Um, I don't know. Uh, again, for the same reason, I think it might be better to hold off, maybe. Be interesting though. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say no straight away, but uh, I, I might personally just want to wait. Because again, I think that expectate the expectation can be a pretty powerful thing. 
Minsk. So who are the lucky writers? Can I answer, or is it something secret? Uh, the writers that I'd like to work with. Uh, it's not really a secret. That's just me being a fan. Um, I'd love to do something with Gareth Ennis and Ed Brubaker and um, uh, Jason Aaron. I actually have done a short story with Jason um, for American Vampire. That was really cool. But uh, I'd love to do like a proper like mini series or something with him. Because I quite like his stuff. And uh, yeah, Garth Ennis is just like a hero of mine. And uh, I love Brubaker. Uh, I, love, I love Brubaker more too, so yeah. I didn't realise it was the Dr. Star cover, that was Tim Sale, that is actually the cover. Oh really? Huh. That was Tim Sale. I'll take that as a compliment. I'm sure that's what you mean. Cheers. I would not have thought. Um, hmm. It's interesting how you get compared to sometimes. Um, because that wasn't a very washy cover and Tim kind of goes really heavy on his washes. But, Uh, yeah, I'll take that. That's cool. Thank you. Well, go ahead, Max. Okay, no worries, man. Take it easy. I'm glad you're like a commission, man. Hesperus. I never liked Conan, but Jason Aaron is making me look forward to reading each issue. I haven't read it yet. I have, I have, I have the the issues. I just haven't read it yet. I'm a little behind on my reading. Um, I actually used to work on Conan for what it's worth. Um, a few years ago, I did a, I did an arc with uh, Brian when Brian Wood was writing it at Dark Horse, and. Uh, I'm, I'm still really, really proud of that one. Actually, well, that and Northlanders really helped me kind of change where I wanted to go as an artist, I have to say. Well and Buffy. Come here. No. No interest. Uh, 
Definitely. Yeah, no, I'm sure you already explained this, but the person commissioned specifically requests Kirby Batman, or you're just getting creative, specifically requested um, Tethanor. I would not do this by choice. <laughs> um, this is just... This wouldn't be my first instinct of how to draw Batman. I would uh, do something much more, I guess, conventional, but um, yeah, no, he, he specifically asked for this. To which I'm begrudgingly accommodated. Adam, yeah, Brian's great. Yeah, I, I'd highly. Well, we did Northlanders together. Um, we did an arc on Northlanders. When I was doing when I was still doing Thunderbolts at Marvel, and um, after that, uh, yes, I wanted to do a little bit of Conan. So I did like three issue a three issue arc, and uh, I really really liked it. And I wasn't really a, I wasn't a Conan fan by any means, but um, it was just stuff I hadn't really gotten to draw before, so it was really cool. So I highly recommend that one. It was um, it was the one, it was the run that um, Vicky Cloonan started, and then it was James Harron, and then me, I think, which you know wasn't wasn't that wasn't uh, intimidating at all. Yeah, I, that's why I really wanted to do Northlanders because um, the uh, I got a lot of Viking stuff, and the the book was 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 like in its last few issues was being cancelled, so I knew I just had like very limited opportunity to be able to um, work on it. I was actually in the um, natural Nas national. A history museum in in Dublin, and they had a lot of like Viking stuff there. I was I, was, I hadn't actually seen it at that point, and uh, the girlfriend at the time said like, "Oh, you should like do Northlanders." To which I said, "Sure, yeah, I'll just uh, I'll just call up uh, Brian Wood and go like, oh hey hey, let me do Northlanders, yeah." And then I think like a month later, I got an email from Brian Wood asking if I was to do Northlanders, so that was class. Another example of me being a lucky prick. Oh, hey, Tooth. Actually, I'm late. I should have started this ages ago. I, I normally try to be drawing by... Uh, by six, I think I didn't get started till like at least half six, which was my bad. I got distracted earlier. Hush, Buffy. Do, 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 do. Hey, uh, hey, Mark, how's it going? Well, you're catching it now, Mark. Uh, am I always on too early or too late for you? Because I, I, I tend to kind of shift things a little. I, I was always starting by, uh, I was always starting by five, and then I pushed it back to six, 
Are they going to start today till half six? I love all the people who the vertigo that the editors picked all the artists for books of rotating artists. Um, I think back then, um, I think with things like Northlanders, uh, Brian asked who he wanted and Vertigo would go with it. So I would say all the guys on Northlanders, at least anyway, were guys that um, Brian wanted. I will get up to seven, gotcha. Well, I'm still normally on here by seven. It tends, it tends to go from six to about eight, I guess, depending on the commission. Well, I don't really want to be drawn two hours. It's a bit long for me. I'd shift the time later if, that's, if it suited people more, for sure. It's hard to know what works. I figured, like, if I'm drawing by now, and enough, like, Americans are able to watch. Well, um, Mark, what did you think of the favourite? 